All right, <clears throat> here we're going to have a quick unboxing or slash uh, review of the Hacko FR301 desoldering tool. I've wanted one of these things forever and don't know why I never got one. I've been repairing electronics for a very long time and this would have been nice to have, but uh, I finally sprung for it, so let's see what's in here. Just tear into it like a Christmas present. Kind of is like a Christmas present to myself. Inside the box, we got the operation instruction manual, <clears throat> and this is the tool to remove the tips. I remember seeing that before. There's some of the uh, little felt filters that go inside of the um, chamber here that collects the solder. You got a, a little rest uh, to put that on while it's heating up or whatever. And we got this little tool here, a little tiny screwdriver, and we got this little doohickey thingy here to clean out the nozzle. Looks to be made very well, just like most of the Echo equipment. <clears throat> I've actually used uh, many different Hacko soldering irons, um, although the one that I use the most um, is this old Weller that I've had forever. It actually uh, works really well. Um, let's see here, that little screw on the back here that you remove the back of it. You see the inside of the pump there. You pull that back and that's the little chamber that collects the solder. You can see the little felt pad in the back, the little filter. Put that back in there. Looks like there's a little, you can pull it back all the way to take this out like that. When you put it back in, there's a little release button, locks it back in. Put this back on. Looks like you don't actually have to take that off to get this out. You just pull it up like that, put it back in. Vacuum button there. On off switch. And then you have different temperature settings got one through four and it tells you uh, what your temperature is here one through four well looks like it's a really solid uh, piece of equipment there let's um, go ahead and heat it up and see how it uh, operates here it on and we have a red light I don't know if, yep there you can see it there in the camera and we'll put it to about 750 which is number two here on the dial Looks like it's heating up fairly quickly. I can smell it already. Looks like it comes from the uh, factory with that little uh, bit of solder in the tip there. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's smoking now. Oh, look at that. Well, let me adjust my camera down here a little bit. And uh, I do have a board here that I need to replace a rotary encoder in. And <clears throat> let's just try this thing out here. This is the uh, rotary encoder that's bad. This is for a, a welder. So let's give it a try. Oh, look at that. Need a little bit more heat here. These are multi multi layer boards, so they do take a little bit more heat than uh, like a single layer. Oh, look at that! It's coming right out. Have to hit these other ones a little bit more here. Wow, look at this. Wow, and that would have taken me forever before with uh, using desoldering wick, which uh, I still use on some small things um, and probably still will use um, maybe clean the board up, which actually this is pretty clean. I'm just going to use a little brush and brush this off here. That's just amazing. Why didn't I buy one of these things years ago? I'll set this over here and go ahead and turn it off. <clears throat> set this over on this side of the bench. I'm going to go ahead and solder in the uh, new encoder. That's just too easy. Try to focus this in a little bit better so you can see it. Yeah, 
I'm just going to solder in this new encoder. Get that in the shot there. All right, just gonna trim off these uh, leads here. In case you're wondering, those are flying across the room. Um, they'll probably end up getting stuck in the vacuum cleaner or something, but that's fine. Jeez. The only thing I'm concerned with now is why did I not get one of those earlier? That is awesome. I'm going to take some uh, cleaner and clean up that flux a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to use some of my heavy-duty flux remover. And a toothbrush used. Ugh. Wow, I was totally doing that off the camera, wasn't I? Oh, Got to pay attention to that. Trying to be careful not to get too much of that... Uh, stuff on there and go crazy this this board is coated uh, with like a lacquer to um, make it a little bit uh, not waterproof but uh, water resistant well I really can't see that too well because of all the reflection but anyhow um, that is fixed And yeah, these rotary encoders, they do go bad and it gets quite aggravating. Um, you get a, I'm sure you've seen on a stereo or something, maybe in a car that's got a rotary encoder, you go to turn the volume uh, down and it goes up or you turn it up and it goes down. Um, yeah, that or it's really aggravating. It goes in the middle and uh, as you're turning it, it just uh, kind of goes up and down. But that's what this was doing. So... Um, Look how clean the leads come off. That, that is awesome. Well, that's about it. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to get out some more videos here. I have been terrible about not putting out videos forever. And then maybe eight years later I might put out a video. But I've been trying to uh, get some things together and a little bit more repair work and put out some more videos. Um, but... Uh, like, subscribe if you have any uh, comments on uh, this or any questions. Um, just let me know. Um, I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'll try to uh, find the link where I bought it and put it down in the uh, subscription. Uh, subscription, I can't even talk. The uh, description? Yes. Um, and that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.